the kitchen. Oh, hold on, Cece. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, oh, no. No. Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. Oh, Look at the cocks re-breaking. Uh, what happened to that horse? The cocks are... Cox juice is flowing today, boys. What's up, everybody? MagicRacingNews.com here to watch the replay for the Hollywood Gold Cup, a grade one race at San Diego Park on Memorial Day 2022's edition. Didn't draw a huge field, just five horses going a mile and a quarter. And a race like this, let's just say, uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk through things while it starts because there's, you know, a lot, not a lot to see here. Um, we've got a field of five there, and you see the four horse was a little funky getting out. Uh, getting out of the gate, that's defunded. He's the horse that, you know, maybe could go gate to wire in this field. It's the little boy there was the favorite was talk. You see right there, he's got some, he's going to show some early speed. Defunded's only chance was to, and it feels like he's here to set things up for the other former Baffert, Spielberg, who's in the teal there, the three horse uh, currently sitting fourth. I guess there's two teal horses there. Uh, the one on the right and the one on the outside. All right, Defunded's going to, that's a quick, there's a lot of timing issues in horse racing right now. 22.76, that's really fast. That shows, to me, that shows Defunded was really uh, being asked to make sure he had that lead. Uh, his best chance, regardless of him being a former Baffert like the three horse, his different ownership, his best chance to win here was to go gate to air. So this is no, not surprising. It slows it down the backside. You expect to see that. Seems like the horse is responding well. Uh, to Abel's, to his hands, he's, he's keeping him pulled back. And the horse wants to go, but he's he's listening to him. Stiletto Boy's sitting in a great spot. And this is a horse that I was trying to beat. Uh, he won the grade two California Stakes going a mile and eighth over this course. That was gate to wire. Um, it was a slow, there's only th four horses in that race. Um, Spielberg Express trained, who's uh, saving up for, uh, he's coming back at Del Mar, it sounds like. All right, here we go. This is when you're going to see him make a move. Now, Irad Ortiz Jr. is riding the one horse. There goes Harvard, and he's an interesting one to watch here. Uh, he's got a two-race win streak, one on dirt, one on turf. Royal Ship was my pick here. Uh, anyway, Stiletto Boy, I thought, was he, he was he, it was an overrated win, beating three horses in the Californian, and, and Spielberg was one of them, and he was terrible. And he's kind of terrible here again. He's not running well. Royal Ship's going to try and go. F yeah, this is a hard one for Royal Ship. Come on. It's not going to dig in. Look at the one horse here. We've got a fight. Look at, there goes Harvard. Defunded still holding on. Everybody, still a little boy quit out. There goes Harvard's going to win this one. Um, wow. Well, I read Ortiz Jr. By the way, uh, looking back on this now, uh, three of the first four races of the day, he wins at San Diego Park. Welcome. You know what's funny about this? Uh, if you haven't been following, he and Flavian Pratt have... Uh, you know, Flavin Pratt was the king of California. He finally leaves to go to New York and Kentucky, and he's going to – it seems like he's going to become Chad Brown's new number one rider. He's getting some great ones. I read Ortiz Jr. won the Eclipse Award. Uh, I think, what, the, he didn't get it last year. Rosario got it. But before that, it was, uh, what, three years running, I believe? Three or four years running. But the point is, one of the best – the best jockey in America for voting-wise uh, wins. I mean, the guy is incredible. And he's getting replaced by Flavin Pratt. Well, now they go on Memorial Day back to San Diego Park. Flavin Pratt's – Stomping grounds, and Ira Tews Jr. wins three of four. Uh, let's talk real quick about what we saw here. There goes Harvard was last early and gets the win. Uh, to me, I, I don't want to sound like a Debbie Downer. This is a really bad grade one race. I mean, Royal Ship should have won that if he was good enough. The fact that, you know, there goes Harvard is all hats off to Michael McCarthy. He did a great training job. We'll come back to him. But, you know, as, as far as it's just the state of California racing, this is not a great field. Um, but. Let's talk about what happened here. Uh, praise, praise and props to There Goes Harvard and the, the connections. Trainer Michael McCarthy, one of the real good guys. Great to see him get another uh, grade one win under his belt. Um, this is a homebred by Canon Thoroughbreds, and they are a small breeding and a racing operation. They have Smooth Like Straight, who we're going to talk about in the Shoemaker Mile Stakes later, so you can check out that replay that I'll be watching as well. But you look at the there goes Harvard. He doesn't break his maiden until halfway through his three-year-old season last year. He does it on turf at Ellis Park, and then almost wins uh, another turf route at Ellis Park in an allowance race. Misses by a nose. Goes to Ellis Park Derby and gets second to Super Stock, who was the uh, was a I think a Grade One winner, right? I really <laughs> should remember this. Yes, he was. Um, won the Arkansas Derby. I knew there was a, the, the, there was something there. So he gets second to a grade one winner, comes back at age four, and this is something that you'll hear Mike Samich on the Magic Mike Show talk about all the time, is horses you know, continuing to progress as four-year-olds, and you see early in the four-year-old season, comes back on the dirt, going a mile, two turns at Santa Anita, a, a decent second to Loudmouth. He's a few lengths behind. 
But then when he's had that the, the rust knocked off, he ends up dead heating with Parnelli as the favorite with Diego Herrera, who's a bug jockey riding. Umberto Rispoli was riding. Rispoli left California. Herrera got the mount. Uh, Herrera lost the bug. Still gets the win when they go back to turf for the horse. So that was pretty great uh, to see that Herrera gets it. And now, listen, no knock on Diego Herrera. You've got Arredo Ortiz Jr. coming in to ride. And Michael McCarthy just showing uh, time and time again that Clean guys, they can get the job done. They can do it really well. So it's great to see that. Uh, hats off to the connections. What did you think? Let me know what you think about There Goes Harvard moving forward uh, to Del Mar. I mean, Royal Ship, this was his second start off of the long left. You know, he was uh, back in August as a three-year-old was his last race. Didn't come back until May 8th. Abel Cedillo has ridden him to back to, rode him to back-to-back wins first last August and then in May. And this was the logical step for him. I think that this is a horse that you'll be able to get, uh, you know, maybe a decent price on him when he moves to uh, to Del Mar because the five horse Stiletto Boy bombed as the favorite. But people out in California really like Stiletto Boy. He's going to keep getting a lot of attention for that, and you know, more power to him. This just wasn't his day. The Californian, like I said. <laughs> He beat three horses, one of them Spielberg, who I think is still trying to finish this race. But uh, let me know what you thought about it down below in the comments. Love to hear from you. Hit like on this video before you leave. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do all sorts of analysis. If you don't know of the recaps, uh, analyzing the recaps of the races, but then also previewing all the big stakes races coming up. And of course, covering the Triple Crown as well. But let us know below in the comments what you think about everything. We'll see you at the track.